Hi, my name is Dex from my consult and since 2003, we've actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So if you'd like to support us to create more content, do like and subscribe today, alright? Okay, in this video, we actually will be looking into how we can actually enable e-invoice module inside AutoCount for you. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you come here to Tools, you come here to Options, and then you come here to Country and Tax, okay? So here you can see now we have an e-invoice module. So if you don't have this means you haven't upgraded to the latest version, you need to be at least revision 40 onwards to have this module, right? So what date should you put when you click here? Alright, so if you are actually 100 million, you put 1st of August 2024. If you have a turnover of 25 million and more, you put this at 1st of January 2025. And for the rest of us, if uh, we are below 25 million, it is 1st of July 2025. Okay, so once you actually select the date, what we need to do is we must just do a quick update. So it will pull all the information from the LHDN side. Okay, once done, we press OK. And then we just need to log back in again. So we let's log in. Okay, in okay, the username and password. Okay, how do you know this module has been activated? You can come here to text. You come here to tax entity maintenance so once you see this that means your e-invoice module has been activated you can click here and you can press new to create the tax entity so let's say example, I create a new example okay it's a business and I key in a business registration number and I just tag one MSIC code okay and if I don't have SSD number I can leave it blank the name I need to be your company name so you can put this is GHY Sanjuan Bahad. Okay, and then we can put phone number, address, and e email address, phone number, addresses, postcode, city will be your where you're from, and once you're done, we just press save. Okay. Okay, so once this information has been keyed in, now you must tag it to your database. So to do that, we just need to come here, general maintenance. Here we got company profile. Okay, so here you can see tax entity or TIN number. You can come here and we can actually tag it to this one. Okay, so once we're done, what happens is on the right side, you see there's one called share company tax information. So once you click this right, what happens is all your customers and all your suppliers when they want to search for your company, they will have all the information that you have gained. So you don't need to resend them or you don't need to fill out a new form. Once they are using AutoCount, they search your company name, they get all your TIN number, uh, your company registration number, the email, the phone number, all that together already. All right. So this is actually how easy it is to set up the e-invoice module inside AutoCount. We hope you find this guide helpful. And if you have any questions, do leave a comment below. Thanks.